name is Tuvia. I'm from Israel. I want to say it's a great honor to be here and take part of Jumia community. You are a great guy. I also want to say thank you to all the people that work hard and make those days come true. You've done an amazing job, still now. Back home, I have a sister that called Michal. Michal have a mental illness that prevent her to meet people, to find a job, to find a friend. She have a lonely life, <laughs> all her life, until she start using the internet a few years ago. When she start using the internet, she start to meet people, to connect with them, to find a job. All, all her life change, and it's an amazing thing for her. She even have a podcast to 20 people, and she so glows after it. It's amazing to see it in your eyes. Five years ago, I realized that I can be the bridge between people with disabilities to technology to improve their life as a developer, and you can do it too. So I'm doing it, then the, I'm doing it since. Today I'm the CEO of my own company, User Accessibility, and all we do is accessibility. We consult to the Department of Justice in Israel about the law, what can be done right now and what can reach in the future. And we take part of the Israeli website, web accessibility standards. And we, t we have a lot of, we work with a lot of the major companies in Israel. We also been busy last year. We done more than 300 projects uh, web accessibility, and we teach others how to do it. We have a course for developers in Israel. But one of the most things that I'm very, very proud of them is Juma set a goal to herself to be accessible for all people. I, today I can offer Joomla to my client knowing that Joomla always improves the accessibility in it. And it's a huge thing, things for them. Think about that. There is 1.05 billion people around the world that have disabilities. It's a huge market that wait for solution, and Joomla offer it. So it's amazing. Today I will talk about three things. My own principles for web accessibility in any project. Then we, I will talk about area attributes and what, uh, how can we use, and we'll see some example for it. And the last one, I think this is the important one. We choose a site, any site that you want, and we check it together to see what, what I am looking on when I, I'm talking about uh, accessibility in website and how we can fix it. Okay, let's start. My first principle said, don't make assumptions. Because when you make an assumptions about people with disability, you're always wrong. This is your, the point that all your, the project will go soft on you. Look at that. It's simple slideshows. How people with blindness will use the slideshow. Think about that. People with blindness have a software that's called screen readers. They have all kind of screen readers. But what the screen readers uh, do is go through your code and then read the relevant stuff to the user. So let's say you have a rear, around 10 slides and the button codes is the last part of your code. So people with blindness will go, will go to your slideshow the screen reader will read to them all the, st the relevant stuff, and then in the end, we will get to the button himself. But it's not, used, it's not relevant anymore for them. So always check yourself. Ask people with disability. You can find them on Facebook, on all the social network, and they will be glad to help you to find the problems. So don't make assumptions. Always check them. Second of all, go deep to the problem. You see on the screen we have three radio buttons. 
let's say this is not a standard uh, HTML. This all, all, uh, all of this is divs. When I tell developers how to make it accessible for people with disabilities, I always get two answers. One, keyboard support, that it's important and it's great, but it's not the only thing we need to do. And the second answer I get, it's area attribute for blind people. But the most of them don't consider the size of the text, the color of the text, the color of the radio button, the clickable area between that people with shaky hands need to click on it. So always go deep to the problem. If you're not sure you've done everything, so ask people with disabilities or ask any expert in the area. Be creative. This is the first principle. And in every website, we have the common issue that we know how to deal. Maybe we have some code that fixed it already. But we always want to do, we have always want an issue that, my, that for a fix it, we must be creative. So let's take this slideshow, the problem from next slides. And we have the button, we have here the bullets. When I want to make it more easy for people with disabilities, like a motor problem or blind people, I always add the pause button. The pause button do two things. First of all, it stops the slides. No automatic movement. So people with HDHD can no, now can read the content in the other part of the site without confusing or lose focus. The second of all, it changed the layout. It make it very, very simple. Look at that. The user, all we need to do is scroll down. No buttons, no complex interface, no nothing. Just a regular page. I don't have, it's very easy to them. The last one, it's the most important principle we have. If you didn't check the accessibility, it's inaccessible, period. I don't care how many times you use the same code, the same library, the same functionality, or the same template. If you didn't check it, it's inaccessible. It's because, it's happened because we forgot the semicolon, or browser updates, or any other reason. But it's always happened, so always checked. This is my four principles. I hope they will guide you in the future. Now let's talk about area attributes. Area attributes for the people, for a developer that doesn't know, this is our way in the code to connect to assistive technology that based on text-to-speech. This is the main functionality. And most of the developer just copy code from others without understanding when to use it and how to use it. So what I want to show you today is the five basic rules for how to use uh, area attributes, uh, attributes and when. So the first rule we have, if we, there is a HTML tag, you must use it, okay? So if you want to create a button, you must use a button tag or an input type uh, button, okay? But the, the, the standard have three exceptions. The exception one is we don't have any browser supports, so we basically we don't have a choice. The other one is we have the browser, the browser supports, but they don't support the accessibility feature in it, so we don't have a choice either. And the last one, when we, this is the important things, because this is make us very easy to program any website. When you want to consider a special design or special functionality for your website or for the interface, I will show you two examples. First of all, when I want to consider a special design, I want to use font awesome instead an image because it's more easy, I can color it, resize it, and do whatever I want. It's okay to use it, I just need to define it as an image. For example, I had use span, not an eye tag, 
because I tag is meaning that the text himself here is a concept. As, so don't use I tag, do use pen. And then we have a Facebook and we add a raw image. From now on, the screen reader will read it as an image. And we give it here area label. Area label is a free text you can add, and this is the alt text to the image. So we define everything here, and it's more easy. The second example is about um, functionality. You have this standard called a drop down with a lot of options, and you want to add an input here that the user can type and make the, short, the option shorter. So we can use this to write that without uh, any um, standard HTML and to define it with area attributes. This is a select to plugin, a great one. Second, second rule, you don't change the meaning of your code. Most developers do that and it's wrong. We have each one here. It defines the title in the page. And we added roll button. From now and on, the screen reader will say to the user, this is a button. And the user will try to click on it, and nothing happens, and we not understand why it's happened. So if we want to fix it, all we need to do is to add span with roll button, and from all from t now, the screen reader will say, this is a header uh, that also a button uh, that you can click on it. So it's a good practice to do it. And you must understand that every time you change the meaning of your code, you must consider everything around it. Keyboard support. This is important because all of this is important, but this is one of the biggest thing in accessibility. All the assistive technology based on keyboard operation. So if your system, your website, your app don't support keyboard, it doesn't accessible at all. So you must add keyboard, keyboard support. Next rule we have. You must have to give, you must give to all the interaction things a description or a label. For example, let's say all colors area is a div that when you click on it, some information appears. So you want to define it as a button and give them a description. So I added here roll button to the div tab index zero for a keyboard support, and I give it area label, okay? And now, this is the most important thing here, okay? You don't make any part of your site invisible for people with disabilities. Okay, especially blind people. Let's say you have this complex interface and this area here is inaccessible from any other, I don't know, reason, okay? So what you want to do here is to put here a note to people with blindness that this area is inaccessible and let the user decide if you want to go deep to this area and try to understand himself, or let them to skip on it. He decide, not you. Let the user decide if this is important for him to go deep or not. Okay, this is all the, the basic meaning of accessibility. Let them decide how to use it. Any question? I will show you an example for it, okay? 
Uh, before I go to, example, to examples and then we check a website, um, are there any other question? Okay. So let's see some example. Yeah. Just tell the user that link open a new windows. Yeah. Mm. He asked if in links you add a target blanks if it's a disrupt to accessibility. It's, it's a great thing to do if you think so. If it's if the link go to other site, it's okay to use it. Just tell the user that this link will open in a new windows and you will know what to expect. expect. Add the title to the link or area label, it's the same. But if you include area label here, I wish. If you include area label, you must give the description of the, the, the link himself either, not just the message is that link open. Because this is, um, he will not read the text himself, he will read this only. Okay, this is more important for him. Let's start with the easy stuff. Taskbrill. This is the screen reader I use. It's called uh, NVDA software. Okay, they have all kind of voices that you can download uh, with a small uh, pay. And let's hear what she said over here. As you see, we have three buttons, copy, cut, and save in the right in the left corner. Dialogue, you can perform basic edits. She read text, but where is the text? And what? Let's you can perform basic edits. You can perform basic edits. So, let's see the code himself and see menu, why she read menu. it. Menu, submenu. I will... Speech stop. mode of... Okay. As you see, I give it role dialogue here. I give here area label with the text himself. You can perform basic edits. And I give a tab index that the user will not miss it when the screen reader on. So I can put here any message I want to explain it without ruining my design or my functionality. So if I have, like in the presentation example, not that one. If I want to let the user here to know this is area that is not accessible for them, I can do it without even anyone see it. So I don't ruin the, the, the layout or the design, and the user still understand why, what is going on. A lot. Let's say I have um, Let's say I want to let the user they have an error, error in the form. I will let the blind people to know that. So, sorry. Speech mode beep. Speech mode doc. Can I document you are about to disconnect from the site click the button to stay connected okay i will click the button click on me button i understand everything that's going on but look what happened now did you get any message did you know what happens 
nothing happens. But if I will make Dark it accessible... P. Revach. Revach. You are about to disconnect from the site. Button click on me. Alert you remain connected. I get the notice. So now the user know is, is still connect. And how it's been done. Speech mode off. Let's see the code himself. I will start with the HTML. I, uh, I don't have here in the HTML as a something special. It's just a P tag and a button that you click on it. But look the jQuery up here, okay? We got the button, a roll button, okay? And, mm, okay, the roll button himself. And, and we had a event of click. When we, we, we click on it, the, the, um, the, we add to the DOM a roll alert, okay? The roll alert himself, we notice the screen reader that something happened, and it's very, very important to let the user know what's going on, and he will read the text himself, okay? One thing th that you must uh, remember is if you do that with a, you do the alert and leave it in the DOM, the screen reader will not read it twice. So after a period of time, you must remove it. You must remove the whole alert. You can do it with set, time, set timeout in JavaScript, and, it's been, and it, then it will read it. Okay, any question? Speech mode beep, speech mode talk. I have three radio buttons, let's hear it. Take a trip, sleep, work, work. Sleep. Did you understand this is a radio Take button? Take a trip. What would you like to do today? Take a trip. Did you understand that it's a form? Mm. I click on one of them. Did you know that something changed? This is a standard issue in many websites. So let's see the... Can I the pull-in window? Items view list. Not accessible, accessible radio, but the Nikuda HTML window. Document. Form landmark. What would you like to do today? Radio button checked. Take a trip. Radio button not checked. Sleep. Radio button not checked. Work. Take a trip. Radio button checked. A hat of shish. Sleep. Radio button not checked. Shalosh of shish. I didn't understand why she thinks there is a six item there, but when I click on it, checked. she tell me it's checked. So I know she she heard funny, but. <laughs> Work radio, but not checked from a shop shish. Checked. Okay, let's see Speech the code. Speech mode off. Okay. This is the code for the not, the not in, the inaccessible uh, code. As you see, it just divs. It's nothing special here, and the JavaScript himself is not complex. And we just, uh, when we click on any radio button, we remove the class and add it to the one we click on. So let's see the other one. Now we have here more uh, complex code. I will try to resize it. Okay. First of all, notice that in the wrap uh, div, I add role form. Now when I add it, the screen reader knows that something will change. Okay, he knows to accept 
this is a form area and some, some item can be removed or been added. Second, we had a area hidden true. I will get back to that in a moment. We have an ID and we have the text himself. After it, we have the radio button himself and we add it as a label by air HUD. The value is the ID in area label and it read the text from the, that ID that says take a trip. When I do that, okay, I don't want the, the screen reader will read the same text twice. So the first time he will get the text, he had earlier hidden. So it's not to really read it uh, again. We have area check that said if it's check or not check. We define it as a radio button and we give it a name. The name is very, very important because the screen reader himself will go through all the code and will see that all the radio buttons have the same name and he, and he will understand that this is a group and the user can choose one of this. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's for keyboard support. Okay? Because if I will not give it a tab index F zero, the keyboard will not can get it because it's just a div. It's not a standard uh, HTML. Yeah. Yeah. It uh, you must understand that screen reader create a lot of information to the user and it try to make it simple it as. So if the user know now is on a radio button and he click enter or space, he know it's checked. So he just tell him what he must know without uh, give him uh, unrelevant information. Yeah. It's a great question, and this is one of the biggest problems in the accessibility field, the awareness. And people with, not, with disabilities not always know what they can done or not, and how to operate screen readers like I do, and most of them uh, miss things because of that. They have some organization that uh, um, teach them and show them how to use, but not all of them get the information. Yeah. You don't have to use area, no, no. Just leave it like this. The screen reader know the HTML, the standard HTML. But if you don't use the standard HTML for many reasons, so use area label, area attributes, and it will work. So as you see on the screen, we remove the select tag and we add for all of them area checked false, and then to the one we click on we add a select class and area check for true. And when we done, done this, the screen reader said check. Look at that. What do you see on the screen? I will tell you what the user, uh, the user will hear. Speech mode beep. Speech mode doc. Document. List with 25 items. Article, 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 article. She said she have uh, 25 items here and she read the text of the item himself. Why it's important to make it as a list? 
Hmm? Order? No. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Don't be. Anyone else? Okay. Okay, you get closed. The reason is that you want to tell the blind people that they have a lot of information here. Let's say it's a small article with heading, a image, and a small te paragraph of text, okay? So if I will not define it as a, as a list with items in it, the user will not know how much information he have on the page. And this is what's the most important thing, because now he know he can pass 25 item before the next area. So now he knows. And you said correctly that help them to navigate because the screen reader himself, uh, when it's work, the keyboard um, changed the layout from typing for navigation to navigation. So if I will press uh, I a button, Article. it will go through the next item. Article. Article. It will go through and through and through. If I get... No, next list. I press on L and if I, I try to look for a list and it didn't find it, find it. And now I will press Shift L. No, previous list. No, next list. Article, 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 article. She done something else, I don't know. <laughs> She's supposed to say this is a list, but she didn't say it. <laughs> I tried. Article, 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 article. I don't know. <laughs> but when you define your information, you have a blog layout. Define it as a list, okay? You don't must use a HTML, a standard HTML. Menu, submenu. Speech mode of. As you see here, I defined the wrap area as a list with all lists, and every item, I give it list item. I change the meaning of my code without affecting the de design of the website. So it's very, very easy to give, to make accessible, uh, accessible sites. Any question about this part? Okay, the last part now, and I want to uh, examine a site with you. What? JBN, JBN. Uh something I did. What? Okay. See the site. 
Look at it. What's wrong? Or what's good? <laughs> Throw everything come to your head. Okay, great. What more? Why do you think it's wrong here? Don't think, just throw it, throw it. What? You're supposed, so let's, sh uh, let's try to check it. I'm using tab. Did you know wh where am I? It's hard to see, and in some places you don't see it. Let's try. First of all, now the, focus, the keyboard focus is on the menu, but you don't see it. So that's something wrong. Yeah, I see I can operate the menu, but, oh. What happened now? That's it. I go out on the menu to the back side, but I don't know where am I, and the menu didn't close. So let's get back. OK, so the, u the keyboard users don't know where they are. This is a big problem. We have a low contrast issues over here and here. Let's say, let's now check how people with blindness will hear the site. Taskbar. Jan Vian Del Paimush Vaisre Home Window. Jan Vian Del Paimush Vaisre Home. Button Tegel Navigation. List which time items link sponsor the event link spread the word out of list. Stein and dear Bati H. June Al Paimush Vaisre. Heading level 1 fight the dragon. Krakow Poland. Gold sponsor. Link graphic jump shaper lago. Gold sponsor. Link graphic ranking coach. Gold sponsor. Link graphic smartest EU. Coming soon. Heading level 2 our warriors. Jump beyond this day conference for jump le developers. Sit ground graphic link. With the, uh, I'm using the tab now. Okay, uh, when people with blindness go to your to site, it's the first thing they look, it's in uh, headers. So they will try to find your H1 or H2. So let's f look for it. Our area heading level 2. Okay. Stay updated heading level 3. Latest news heading level 3. Latest tweet heading level 3. Brands sponsors heading level 4. No next heading. So I hear the heading. OK, I got the point what subject I have in the page. Let's say we go through latest, latest news heading level the show. latest news. Site ground. Web hosting services crafted with care window. Google Chrome. Pain. Pain. Main toolbar. List which time items sponsor the event link. They have a lot of stuff from this camera. <laughs> Out of list time and dear heading level hot fight the dragon. Crack out pole gold sponsor. Okay. Blink Blink Jan in it more graf graf graphic jab shwais record symbol shalosh. I want to check something on this. Menu sub menu. Image. Filter style Z edit filter have toggle button dots. Okay, I will try to resize. Okay, this is the alt. It says jab seventeen card symbol three. It's right. What's supposed to be here instead of this? Description of what? What? Of the image. And if the image is a link, 
you have to describe where the link will go, not the image himself, because it's irrelevant for him, okay? Button pressed. So Jam all the, the image is the same here. Home, okay, Kirin. let's go for a, another page and see it. Tagel navigation button pressed. Mm. List. Link. Data. Text. Luxan HTML. From web data. UA. Jan Bian in Kuda org network error window. Jan Bian notification of network connections window. Jan Bian in Kuda org document. Heading level a hat this site can't be reached. The net fell again. Jan Bian. Notification overflow, network connection window, network settings link, list, Jebev Wi-Fi speaker secured signal 4 out of 4 bars 2 of 11, connect button, Jebev Wi-Fi speaker secured signal 4 out of 4 bars 2 of 11, network connection window, list, BW Premium. Okay, how much time we have? What? Three minutes? Okay. Do you have any questions? What? <laughs> None? Two minutes? <laughs> Just ask. I'm here all day. <laughs> Okay, you must understand for to make a website accessible, it's not about the way you're reading the code, it's about the way you think. Because when you design today a website, you just think about the visual stuff. You don't think how it's here by people. So imagine that your site, someone will read it to you. How it will go, how you will want to hear it, okay? So you are must design the visual stuff for people with uh, the people that see, but you must dis add a new design, new layout that merge with the visual, okay, for blind people because you can't let them just uh, fight the dragon because if they won't understand what it is about. You have to explain them. So fight the dragon, this is the concept of Joomla, okay? This is the concept of the community. This stuff must take ahead. It's even before you try to write your code or design the things, it must start with when you plan the uh, user experience for, yeah. They have, they have uh, all kind of tools to do this, but uh, yeah, they have, we have. I don't know if the connection uh, will show us. Oh. This is the one I use, but you must understand it's not all the problems. It gave you about 20% of the problems. So you must, cons you must understand, you must use screen reader to find out everything that went wrong. But it's not just the screen reader, it's keyboard. Check everything with the keyboard. If you check and you see everything and you can find yourself on the site with uh, the tab navigation, so most of the things you do. And you must consider the colors. There are a lot of things to consider. Uh, any other question? Yeah. Wave Later. Web Accessibility Tool Document. Wave Web Accessibility Tool. Okay. Main landmark graphic wave. Thank you.